welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new and if you are new don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below to join the YouTube family and click that bell so you're notified every single time I upload I'm gonna share with you four DIY hair masks that are good for all different hair issues that you may be struggling with whether that's dandruff or you just want to grow your hair out dry damaged hair and even oily hair I've been doing DIY hair masks for a very long time and I've noticed such a big difference in my hair health so I definitely recommend trying these hair masks out comment down below what is one of your hair struggles so maybe I can do a whole video around that hair struggle and don't forget to thumbs up if you want more videos like this I also did a DIY face mask video so if you want to see DIY face masks definitely check those ones out as well I will have it linked down below for you guys but on that note let's jump into it these right here are the four DIY masks they are super simple to make and they only require a few ingredients each each hair mask is really going to help with a particular hair type let's just jump right into it the first hair mask that I will be sharing with you is great for hair growth and all you're going to need is olive oil and lavender oil or if you didn't want to use the olive oil you can substitute it for coconut oil but I typically like to go for olive oil all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bowl and you're gonna put around two tablespoons of the olive oil into the bowl and then put about three to four drops of lavender oil. The key ingredient to this hair mask is definitely the lavender oil because lavender oil is known as the beauty oil widely used for curing alopecia and hair loss. It's really great for boosting that hair growth and the olive oil of course is just going to moisturize your hair deeply and really help with any dry brittle damaged hair. When you do apply it to your hair I really focused it on the scalp and I spent a few minutes really massaging it into the scalp and then you can go ahead and put a shower cap on if you would like but I just left it on for one hour before I went ahead and washed my hair thoroughly to make sure that you really get rid of the mask olive oil is a very thick oil so if you don't wash it out your hair is going to look greasy so you need to make sure that you're thoroughly getting it out but I like to use this once a week or you can even use it once a month but if you're really trying to grow your hair, you can even use this up to two times a week. The second DIY hair mask is really great for those of you that struggle with dandruff or a very dry scalp. So all you're going to need for this one is just plain Greek yogurt, lemon juice, and honey. So all I did was I took a small bowl and I put about half a cup of plain yogurt. Then I went ahead and put one tablespoon of lemon juice and then finished it off with one tablespoon of honey. And once you have all three ingredients, I just mix it all together and you can then start to apply it onto your hair but why this hair mask works great for dandruff is because the acids present in yogurt can really exfoliate your scalp and unclog the hair follicles also it can restore the ph balance of your scalp and the fats found in the yogurt also do nourish and hydrate the scalp as well. The acid in the lemon juice also works to really stabilize your scalp's pH and oil production, while the honey is going to also help moisturize and nourish it as well. So I applied it all the way from my roots down. You're gonna make sure that the hair mask stays for 30 minutes before you go ahead and wash it off, but make sure when you are washing this mask off, you use a mild shampoo that is sulfate free. So you could do this once a week as well. But when applying all of these hair masks, I always usually like to apply it on damp hair. And I also went in and put a shower cap to really let the hair mask soak in. The next hair mask is great for those with dry, damaged hair. All you're going to need is two ingredients and that is just unfiltered apple cider vinegar and argan oil. All I did is I took a small bowl and I just put about two tablespoons of argan oil with only one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. But this mask is really going to help both cleanse your hair but moisturize the hair as well. Apple cider vinegar is amazing for the hair because it not only removes product buildup that can make your hair look dull and lifeless but it can also help with the pH level of your hair. Apple cider vinegar is very close to the pH level of human hair so a lot of hair products can actually
actually upset this delicate balance, resulting in dry hair and scalp irritation, but apple cider vinegar is really going to help with that. And the argan oil, of course, will really help to nourish your hair and make it extremely soft as well. Once you have those two ingredients, you're just going to work this through your hair, starting from the roots all the way down your hair, and you can let it sit in for about 15 to 30 minutes before you go ahead and make sure you thoroughly wash it out. Once the mask was in, I just put my hair in a high top knot and just let it sit until it was time to wash wash it out. And of course, the last hair mask is great for those that have oily hair. And all you're going to need is baking soda, castor oil, and tea tree oil. So all you're gonna do is take a bowl, put two tablespoons of the baking soda, and then put one tablespoon of castor oil. And all you're going to need is five to seven drops of tea tree oil. You're also going to add a little bit of water into the mixture and just mix it all together until it is a paste consistency. But why it's really great is one, the baking soda really helps remove hair buildup and it also effectively soaks up excess sebum and maintains your scalp pH. While the castor oil really improves blood circulation at the scalp, ensuring that there's better nutrition for the hair follicles and also helps balance pH of the scalp. And lastly, the tea tree essential oil is great for helping prevent dead skin cells from building up as well as residue from other hair products. And at the same time, it can also control excess oil production in the scalp that can block hair follicles. So this is just a really great one if you struggle with oily hair. Of course, when you have your mixture, you're going to then apply it onto your hair, really focusing on the scalp of your hair, of course, because that is where your hair looks very greasy and oily, and this is really going to help. You're gonna let it sit in for 20 minutes before you go ahead and rinse it out, and you can use this mask once a week, or you can go ahead and just use this once a month if you'd like. But all of these hair masks make my hair feel amazing. It just makes it so smooth and soft. Each of them are just really great for particular hair types. That is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you end up trying one out and don't forget to click the subscribe button to join my YouTube family. I would love for you guys to be a part of it. But on that note, I hope you guys have an amazing day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.